The students in a math class can be organized into study groups of eight each so that no students are left out. This same class of students can also be organized into groups of six so that no students are left out. Let's find some class sizes for which this would work and also find the smallest such class size. Well, if the class of students can be organized into study groups of eight each, this means that the class has to be a multiple of eight. And if it can be organized into groups of six each, the class size also must be a multiple of six. So let's list some multiples of eight and some multiples of six. Some multiples of eight are eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four, eight times five, and continuing. and so on. I could keep listing them. We'll list the multiples of 6 as well. We have 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, 6 times 6, 6 times 7, 6 times 8, 6 times 9, 6 times 10, 6 times 11, 6 times 12, and so on. Now, what we're looking for is a number that's common to both lists. It's a multiple of 8 and it's a multiple of 6. Looking across, I see that 24 is a multiple of 8 and it's a multiple of 6. Also, 48 is a multiple of 8 and a multiple of 6. Also, 72 is a multiple of 8 and a multiple of 6. So sum common multiples for some class sizes that would work are 24, 48, and 72. And there are others if we would continue to list those multiples. That was part A. Part B asks us to find the smallest such, the smallest such class size that would work. And looking at our common multiples, we see that the smallest one is 24. So the smallest such class size is 24.